bigger minds want to know. So what are you trying to do with this movie? Why are you making it? I'm making it because it's relevant for now. Um, you want it rabbit. It's something it's that, that, <laughs> stuff like that I believe blood will resonate with people. Yeah. Um, like a lot of people suffer this stuff, so <laughs> lots of films have been made like this before, but I'm just trying to show a slightly different angle. Um, In what way? What it does to family, what it does to, you know, without having like loads and loads of flashbacks, um, you know, to gunfights and stuff like that. It's like trying to capture a slice of real life. Um, and hopefully we, over the course of this three minutes, we get a character arc or at least the uh, degradation of this character. Mm -hmm. um, We'll have to see if it works. <laughs> Fuck it! Fuck it! <laughs> Coming down here, Danielle. So tell us, what, tell us what you're doing and how you're doing it. We're just making some scars for uh -huh. shrapnel wounds. Mm -hmm. So we just added some extra flesh, which we've coloured underneath to bring the realistic bruising through that she would have and then we've just sort of made lines down the middle where this cut would have happened but obviously they're a bit more gross because they would have happened in shrapnel wounds or in the field so yeah. it wouldn't be as nice as normal surgery uh, so alex just ideally um if you could have an impact with this movie what would it be what would you like to see change well if you're going to send a hundred thousand people off to war then there needs to be 100,000 people looking after these people coming back that are you know, broken, no whether that's physically or mentally. Um, You're deployed. I just hope that this resonates with people, uh, at least gets people talking about it. Um, I'm going to do one thing now, which all the people that this movie is made for would love to be able to do.